Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourself in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I heard Jackson has the best story of his life to tell today, so I cannot wait to hear that. Little Z. My favorite color is pink, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. <laughs> wait, no, wait, it's blue. Pop it one. My, what? What are you doing? This is my... What? Director Cocker. Thanks for the interview, Jordan. Obviously, we planned this really well, so it's executed perfectly. My story's really good. Good interview, good actually. Interview. I, I liked your fun facts. Like, is it actually pink? <laughs> uh, I think it is. I think I've come full circle. What so kind of pink? You got purple on at the moment. Uh, yeah, purple is an extension of pink. You don't always wear no, your favorite not. color. Purple actually might be my favorite color. That might have been a lie. I said pink. Is and it blue. that kind what's of purple? Be, what's between pink and blue? Purple. 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 Is it that kind of purple? Yeah, this is a good one. This lavender. is more of a mauve. 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 Oh, anyway, lavender. about this story is it, this that's lavender. gonna no, no, no. Let's say it on the pink topic. No. Well, I think the story will come at the end because it's gonna keep everyone engaged. Yeah, that's oh, true. That's say it at the end. You hear Jackson's amazing story. A really good story. Oh. Because guys were bullied for wearing pink for like all through the what forties or whatever the but pink even looks now. I look really good in pink. Even now if you're young. Yeah. If, you, if you're young. I remember being in primary school and then some guy was like, Oh, my favorite colour is purple and I was like, What? <laughs> what are you a fucking hell? girl? Like, but I was so confused because he was also like the cool guy of the primary school. Mm, so it blew my mind. Mm, and then yeah. that 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 just destroyed uh gender. He for was me. cool because he didn't care what you thought, Jordan. I know. Everyone's was, cool if you be yourself. I was like, Wait, how does he like purple and no one's making fun of him? It's How's like, that? Well, you get a free pass when you pull it off. Though. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I think grade two, I think. Is That's that, pretty inv- advanced thought. Grade one. Is that advanced? No, I think it's just natural to be racist, maybe. <laughs> Sorry? What? Don't you think? No. Is your favourite colour white? No, but like... I, think I absolutely nat- disagree with that statement. I think it's natural. So if you have 10... Maybe not racist, but um, against people who are different. It's human nature to be wary of things that are different, 100%. When yes. I was... I don't, maybe I learnt it, but it's like if I'm in grade one... And all my friends, everyone I know, likes blue. James likes red. It's like kids do love blue. Did you hear people James who likes do red? something slightly different for no yeah, reason? Uh, Peter once again has put Jordan's point in far better words. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. Please don't take that out of context. I yeah. just realised. Yeah, you know what, not the best thing to say. We need to get a new segment where Jordan writes down his thoughts and Peter puts Expresses them into them. English. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's the, you're the PR for Jordan. Remember we played that game. Yeah, you were yeah, good yeah, at it, yeah. and Jordan was not, and it's coming through yes. very vividly right now. So what Just my client was my trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Objection. Yeah. 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 Did you not? Do you not think that? Uh, I think what Peter said's true. I don't think what you said's true. <laughs> okay. I'm going to side with Peter on this one as well. Oh, Me sweet. too. Yeah. Usually yeah. the smartest thing. Four to, to zero. Do. Great call, guys. <laughs> Jordan not even picking himself. <laughs> Wow, Peter really has a lot of people supporting him and no one going up against him in any sort of way <laughs> at all. <laughs> we trying to, we trying to get a story going here? <laughs> Maybe. Well, it's it's fucking hectic. Dude. Yeah. You tell it. I did get, uh, for anyone oh, who yeah. didn't see my, yeah, my tweet, I got attacked on the street, so which fucked. was pretty un- unfortunate. Not because it's like, wow, it's Hopcat. Let's choose. It's just literally random. Yeah. Random attack. So I guess I should tell a story from the start because there are some details that I didn't include in my tweet that I have told Zach because Zach messaged me, but I haven't told you guys, so I think you'll find it quite funny. Wait, you uh, guys didn't message him to ask I did. Like, I oh. asked him on the phone, and he, Peter literally said, save it for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. I'm, no. in the, I'm in the ER, but no more details. We've got to talk about it on the pod. Uh, I just do want to preface this by saying thank you to everyone who did you know, send a message or just yeah, reply yeah. to my tweet or anything, or just even like the, the tweet, be showing support. It felt very uh, loved and appreciated, so that was cool. Uh, uh, I am completely fine for the record. <laughs> Uh, Sophie, who was also there with me, is also fine, even though she has a bit of a bruise on her face. So she looks oh. pretty metal. She looks pretty pretty epic, That's having pretty like a black eye. I'm a little bit worried that when I'm out with her, people just assume if you're a young woman with a black eye that you're getting domestic violence. So <laughs> that's not great, that part of it. But yeah, yeah. But yeah feel, I, I'm fine. So I, I'm going to be talking about it in kind of like the funny, funny side of it because it's, it's not a super serious podcast. Well, luckily it's your story so you can yeah as, make luckily, as much yeah. fun as you luckily want. i am fine so yeah. it's like i can't i don't have to dance around anything too yeah. much but basically we went to this uh this bar that had like a video game themed night maybe once a month it's called respawn you guys probably oh know this is it. respawn okay, yeah so yeah. we went to respawn and so they, they hire out like part of a club for like one night a, a month and it's like a gaming themed party i've never been to this before i just thought it sounded kind of funny and i was like me and Sophie, we should go to this because Sophie likes doing like cosplay things for streams yep. and mm-hmm. that. So we get dressed up. It's Mario Kart themed. 
There was okay. like a Mario Kart tournament at it and Mario and Nintendo themed drinks. Did you win? So real quick. Yeah, did you win? No, I did not yeah. enter. It was oh. a Mario 64. I've never played it oh, before. Fair, fair. And yeah, also you I had to get there really skill. early to do this and stuff. And look, if I'm going out on a partying night, I'm not going to be playing too much Mario Kart. That's <laughs> where you're wrong. Side side note. Okay. There was a Smash setup. Let's there go. was there was like three or four Switch setups. Yeah. Smash setup. I jump on it because Sophie goes to the bathroom. So she yeah. goes to the bathroom as soon as we walk it's in. Time. I haven't even made any friends. I haven't seen anyone I know. So she just leaves me alone to go to the bathroom. And she goes for friggin' ages because she runs into a friend down there. Yeah, and sure. it's like, oh my god, I've been left alone. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll jump on the Smash setup. I'll, I'll play a game or two of Smash. It's a free for all. Obviously, mm-hmm. yeah. items are turned off. It is stock mode, Ooh, so yeah, there's some, there's respect. some, yeah, there's, there's some good things and uh, <laughs> the, uh, random stages. So the one I got on was Hazards on Mario Bros, which is the one with the crabs and nice. the shells. Dude, let's go! Oh, Classic yeah. of the genre. <laughs> and I came dead last. Really? <laughs> yeah. They don't recognize you. They're like, no, man, no. Hopcat's really not good at smash. No, they, rec- they didn't want to embarrass him though. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, like, oh, luckily nobody him. recognized me. Otherwise, I died. I, those crabs kill you so early, man. <laughs> I died to the crab at like 23 times. That must have shocked you because you were probably like, oh, I don't want to be too obvious yeah. that I'm a pro. And then, uh, I was like, I won't try too hard. You know, I, I won't make these people feel bad last place. Did like, the next month. game you destroy them? Uh, were you pissed? I, I won the first game and then I came dead last in the second oh, one. So, okay, you know, okay. Anyway, beside the point, we finish our night. We go to move on to the next place from there. Yeah. Oh, also important story with the Mario Kart theme. I was dressed up as fucking Link. I was about to ask, <laughs> did you guys get jumped wearing these costumes? So if he was dressed up as Cat Peach, oh, I was dressed as no. Link. Did she have the Cat Peach N- costume? Hers was more inspired by Cat Peach. She didn't look much like Cat Peach, but she had like right. cat ears and like pink clothes and sure, stuff. So yeah. it wasn't like a cosplay. It was like... It's my, but we both look pretty fucking ridiculous. It's just this the same Link costume you wore to Sophie's yes, birthday. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm, yep. I'm not buying a second Link costume. I was. It was last minute, <laughs> very last minute. Linkle. Yeah, Linkle. Cropped up. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so we, we're walking from one bar to the other, and then like I'm at the back of the group, and then the other guys are in front of us, and then some random kid out of this group of like maybe 15 people. He must have only been like 16, maybe. Yeah. Just full on smacks me in the back of the head as hard as they can as I'm just walking past them for absolutely no reason. Yeah. I hadn't even spoken to them. I hadn't even made eye contact with them. Literally, like, imagine you're walking on the street, happy as Larry, nowhere in the world. Someone just whacks you in the back of the head. Yeah. And so I'm like, what the fuck? It didn't really, like, hurt me. Yeah. So it wasn't a punch at least. Yeah, it was like an open hand, like yeah. wind smack. up big what the smack. Hell? Which is just so fucking random to do. Yeah. So what? I turn around and I'm like looking at this group of people and the, the kid who does it kind of disappears into the yeah. group. And then like the other people with is like, yeah, keep walking. <laughs> keep walking. Like they're telling me like turn around and just like keep walking. And I'm like, I'm not one to start a fight. You guys know this. I've never been in a yeah. fight in my life. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not one to try and start shit, but I'm like not happy. Yeah. So I'm like to this group, I'm like, are you fucking tell your mate yeah. that that is not on? Yeah. You know, like instead of being, I'm mm. not angry, I'm disappointed, you know? Like I'm, yeah. like, I'm like my dad basically. You're parenting them. So I'm telling them like, that's not on. They're like, yeah, keep walking. And I'm like, no, no, you go tell your mate that that shit's not oh, on. Shit. And so then like, I'm now at the front of my group because I've turned around. Yeah. And like, there's two groups facing each other. So sorry, they were in front of you. Uh, they were, I was already past them when they smacked oh, me there. Okay. I turn around. Now they're in front of me. Yeah, yeah. okay. And then like the other guys who'd walk past behind me. And one of the guys was like, just just, just walk, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You yeah. know, just like keep going. Because guys, your advice group for you guys. Ad- from my group. Like, oh, it, like right. try to be like, hey, just, it's just, let it go. It's just shit. Just yeah. let it go. Advice for you guys at home. Moral of the story. This is the correct thing to do. Yeah. Because, because I'd turned around and our group stopped. The groups kind of came closer together. Yeah, sure. And they were yelling abuse Gross. across at our people yep. while Jesus. I'm having this confrontation. And then, like, I do wish I had kept walking because it meant that it led to them starting on the other people that I was with. Yep. And so I feel bad about that personally because, yeah. like, me getting angry, even though I didn't start a fight, caused them to then start a fight with us. So They're stupid. just looking for anything. Yeah, they to are just looking onto. for anything. And like, so even fun, though I'm not going to go and swing it, and then they get close to like, we were, Sophie was with another girl here. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, they just like King hit this tiny girl Jesus who's standing Christ. next to Sophie. Yeah, right. But no, like it's just because like we Jesus and knocked Christ. her to the floor. She's knocked out. She hits the deck. Sophie goes to try and yeah, Sophie goes to try and help her, like literally just go and stop her like from hitting the ground too hard. Yeah, gets hit in the face doing this without swinging. Gets punched in Are the these face guys doing this. as well doing this. Or guys or and girls, Jesus mostly Christ. guys. And then the two guys I was with just getting a brawl with like maybe four or five people all swinging at their heads while these people are trying to like, cause they've 
and then we're madly outnumbered because there's maybe six of us and like yep. 15 of them. Sure. And then each person was getting madly outnumbered and then I'm just in the middle of it trying to push people apart saying like, fucking stop. There's yeah. just no reason for this shit. shit. There's no yep. reason for this. Just stop. And then like, yeah, it was messed up. The guys, the, the girl was obviously extremely shaken up. Yeah. Had like an anxiety attack. Yeah. People in tears. Yeah, of course. The, the guys all had like blood lips, blood noses. I got out without any like hits, which was quite interesting, quite yep. surprising. But I was just trying to break it up. You're Jesus. very much a, uh, what, it was like a aggression de-escalator or like a yeah. situation de-escalator. Yeah. Not like a looking for an, whereas this other group is obviously looking for an excuse yeah. to escalate the situation. Like you could have turned around and just being like, I don't like that you hit me. And they're like, oh, yeah. he's fucking coming at us. Like swarm yeah. you. Like they're looking for anything. <laughs> yeah. It's all, it's like a bit of a balance of being like assertive in yourself versus like when you just need to let it go. Yeah. Because it feels so bad to just let someone get away with that. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can't just smack someone in the head on the street. Yeah. When they, you have no reason to. That's fucked up. Yeah. You know, that's not okay. Yeah. But then the best thing to do is just let it be okay. It's so unfortunate, you know? Yeah, it's especially just like, if it's a whole group as yeah, well. Yeah, because obviously like, we're outnumbered. I'm not going to start a fight and, with someone over this, and it's just like, whatever. Jesus what a day. Christ. But yeah, and, and people are so messed up. Although I do got to say, because we were, this was hosted at one of the like the gay clubs in Perth. Yeah. It was at the court, if yeah. you guys know, and we were just outside there. So a lot of people coming out of the door were coming out of the court. And one of the people helping take care of everyone, like when everyone was hell shaken up, who came out of the court yeah. was this drag queen, which Amazing. is just like such a stereotype of yeah. like the, the gay community of like the drag queens being like the mama, like yeah. the mothers of the group and yeah. like taking care of everyone being super like kind yeah. because they go through so much discrimination. Yeah. And so they're just like helping people out. Yeah, it's amazing. But they also don't fuck around, you know? Yep. They do not fuck around. Yeah. Like there was one guy like just kind of like on the street who was like sipping his drink, just staring. Because you know how people just like stare when yep. there's a scene yeah. going on. Yeah. And the drag queen who was like comforting Sophie at this time was like, look, mate, you can either go get us some help or you can go away. You're like pick it <laughs> up, but don't just fucking stand there. Like so, so firm, so good. So that, that person was a massive legend. Yeah. So but, how did it, how did the fight break up in the end? Oh, everyone just, they ran off after a bunch of swinging going on and then people breaking up and then yeah. they all ran off. Yeah. What the fuck? And then the police came later, but they did nothing. And yep. it was like a whole thing. And <laughs> like, I, there were, honestly, the average bystander is quite helpful and nice in these situations. Yeah. You know, like most people did kind of help. And there was like one very strong looking guy who I appreciate whoever he was. Cause he kind of just like stared this group down while they were pissing off. Yeah. Right. And I was like, kept him away. Mudgy, mudgy. Yeah. But it's just, it's just annoying that this thing can happen to people who are minding their own business. And like, you can't be less looking for trouble than being in a fucking Link costume walking from <laughs> one club to another. We're not on the street like these people looking for trouble, just like doing nothing all night. We're yep. in one club having a good time. Yep. We are taking this maybe five, 10 minute walk to another club. Yep. And then you get jumped by people. And it's I just like- I can't imagine just stupid. smacking someone. Yeah, like, it's, it's, just crazy, another, right? it's just another yeah. side of the world. And it just shows that like, these people obviously have had nothing better to do. Yeah. And it's, it sucks that that's what their idea of entertainment is. Yeah. Because it's just your life is just fucked. Yeah. You know, like Crazy. how do you escape that situation when that's all your friends and all your contacts and all that stuff? Mm. You can't. I'm sure like even if like, let's say all these 15 people are dog shit people. Yeah. They didn't all start that way. Yeah. And even if some of them aren't at that point, they'll get there from hanging around with these yeah, people. You know, 100%. but what else can they do? And so like I do pity the people. Because yeah. like no sixteen year old d d it should be in a situation where they think that's an okay thing to do. Yeah, you've clearly been brought up wrong. Yeah, and it's just it's just shit. That's such a shit thing to happen. Yeah, but like I said, I'm fine. Well, that's good. Uh, I hope the other girl who got decked was fine. Yeah, we, how's we she doing? Her. Now? We only met her that night, oh, so okay. it, we were just like, uh, yeah. let's go to a club together, whatever. Were they like trying to latch onto the fact that you're in costume, or like it was because we came out of the gay or? club, and I think two of our girls were like uh, holding hands or something, and so they were yelling like. Slows oh, across the group. The court. Yeah, with the, they'd be like yelling homophobic stuff Jeez, across the group pretty bad. after I turned around. Well. So I obviously shouldn't have turned around and I feel a bit guilty myself yeah. because I didn't get hurt. You know, have you ever heard of survivor's guilt? Yeah. yeah. Where like in a, like an accident, if someone dies, you're like, man, why was that me? Yeah. I have that to like a, you know, the 10th percent of it. You yeah. know, like it's very small amount. I'm like, man, all these other people got hurt. Yeah. I should have got more hurt, which is stupid because I, I got lucky. I don't think you should have done this, but I think it's actually illegal even if you were to like fight back because they're underage i mean it's, it's self-defense like, i don't think age really yeah, self-defense self i think overrides no i i think it doesn't like if Surely. a kid pulls a gun I, on no, you you can I think definitely what, spear tackle them yeah i think what you're meant to do is you like die just keep them off you and like 
Like say if they punch you, I don't think you can punch well, a kid. Well, that's self-defense that. as well. Yeah. You, you can't go out of the way of aggression. You can't, yeah. There's no it's like, is there line. no limit to self-defense? Like There is definitely wise? limit. There is. Oh, I don't think age really I think I was talking shouldn't. to Maddie about it and she thought that it was like, you weren't allowed to self-defend against young kids. If a 16 year old comes at you with a knife and you like kick them to- and Yeah, then if they you punch them in the face and knock them like, out. And also, how are you even meant to know? Like, this is just my guess. I don't yeah. know the person. Like, how do you have to ask them for their ID? <laughs> well, while me. Kicking your ass? <laughs> I, I don't think you can. Oh, I think what it is is you can't do anything more than what they do to you. So no. that, is, <laughs> that is generally the ruling. But then also, yeah. you can say like that you just like were trying to defend yourself because like I, I think that you can really get away with anything by the saying self defense that you were scared. Pretty strong, as far yeah. as I yeah. know. I'm pretty sure because I mean, America can't they just shoot people on your property? Yep. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, it's self defense on my property. Like that's a bit more than what they did to you if they're it's just a trespassing. Crazy rule. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. It wouldn't be as crazy if they didn't have the guns. Mm. Yeah. It's like then they would have to actually have to come in your house to be a threat. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then if someone's like in your paddock, yeah. and you're like, no oh, shit, what if they come inside? I'm gonna shoot them from 50 meters away. Yeah. Then that's a bit of a hell to do. But Gosh. I'm just. It, what's funny to me, like to, to, to make it not so serious anymore, because it's been serious a while. <laughs> I'm just picturing the mental picture of a link costume person breaking up a fight with a drag queen <laughs> and a group of children after like people in cosplays are on the floor knocked Dude, out and shit. Link's it would have be, been quite the scene. It sounds like a dream. You're like, yeah. and Link was there. I think there was a drag queen. <laughs> it would have yeah, been no. quite, like, no wonder the guy was standing there trying to slurp his drink, just watching. Cause it was, it was proper it unhinged, man. It was pretty weird. He was weird. wondering which side to take. <laughs> what was really funny is one of the, the guys that we, we also had met this guy this night. I, I don't really yeah. remember him that well, but he was so like, chuffed with himself for getting like hurt and also being fine because like he had like a blood nose and he like blood on his clothes and he was like oh i got some good punches in there man it was sick like I, some people I, are so strange he was so happy with himself for, like getting into a fight you know what i mean because he I, I must have made him feel like, like big and strong and <laughs> i guess yeah maybe masculine i don't know but then, they were, and then because i like followed them on instagram from this to try and like make sure they're okay the next day. Yeah. Just them on their story, they posted that night. They were like an ice pack in their face being like, oh, don't mess with my friends, man. Oh, you will get it. Like they were like, and then the next morning they were like at the gym so I could like mess people up better if they jump me and my friends. Oh my no God. Way. Dude, he was loving it. It was so funny. That's Dude, the response. Peter's like practicing my link hero spin. <laughs> <laughs> like get into the middle of the group and just start spinning get around. Back. By the That's way, guys, AOE. if anyone in the comments of this podcast has said Peter should have teched or she should have teched when she got knocked out, I will personally be banning you from the channel. <laughs> I saw that again. as a comment on your Yeah, that was replied to one of my tweets and I was like, you seriously need to touch some grass. Like I, <laughs> I, I say this as a joke, but you really do. No, I couldn't believe when I read that. Should have run like, up shield. Yeah. yeah. Guess you forgot to shield. Yeah. Should have parried the punch. I'm just like, man, there's more to life than you Honestly, being cringe. I would say 99% of those comments are from people that are too young to understand yeah. that it's not okay. Yeah. So like sometimes you got to give them a pass when it's so obviously like, bah, should have ticked. <laughs> but I, I, know, I know everyone's going to find this hard to believe, but I don't really like being the center of attention. Uh, says the guy with the YouTube, YouTube talking channel. on his podcast. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate the irony of it too. And I appreciate that I've been talking for the past 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> solo. I feel like that's weirdly a lot of YouTubers though are kind of introverted. Yeah. But I would say I am similar. Yeah. Like I'm not at parties being like, woohoo, yeah. it's me. Like I'm pretty quiet. But then, yeah, YouTube. And something I hate the most is... Um, People fussing over me if they think I'm hurt. Oh, I hate that. I hate it so much. You guys, what do you guys feel on that one? I never, um, I never get that. Really? <laughs> if, if you've like, Damn. if you've like hurt yourself and someone's like, "Oh, you okay? Do you, 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 you just say, "Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it," or do you be like, "Oh, oh I yeah. am really hurt. Please, like, give me attention." No, when was the I, last time you got hurt? Yeah, I don't John? know. I'm the same as you, Peter. I, but I jarred my thumb yesterday at volleyball. I didn't mention it though. So, I, so I clearly think, you don't like yeah. a fuss being made over you. Yeah, yeah. true. It should have gone down. Oh, <laughs> thumb. I don't know. Yeah, where's the dive anymore? We lost that game because Jordan <laughs> didn't call for a red card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like some people really like lap up the attention because yeah. they want people to fuss over them. You know what I hate? When you know that someone else's injury is like not that bad. You Deep down, you know. Yeah. But you do the nice thing and you say like, oh, you're okay. And then they make it into a big deal and you're like, well, fucking shouldn't have asked. Should have just let it go under the rug. And then, like, you deal with it. Like, yep. you got to fucking, like Jordan said, like, if someone got a jarred finger and made a massive deal out of it, I'm just like, oh, come on, man. We've all been there. <laughs> but yeah, like, like like I was saying, I'm not trying to say any of this stuff to try and get any sympathy from anyone. I don't want, like, anyone to be like, oh, like, Peter. I appreciate people checking in on me, but I'm not, like, this gonna, is very different. I'm though. not going to take anyone up on it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's just like, nah, don't worry about yeah. it. I've never been one for, I'm usually more like, 
embarrassed than I am. Yeah, I'm the same. To be hurt. I feel like that. Like you're falling yeah. off your like scooter or your bike or something. You're not like, oh, help me. You're just like, oh, that was fucking dumb. Yeah, hopefully no one was looking. Yeah. If I can move along and no one saw it, that's brilliant. Yeah. My biggest issue is when no one's filming it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I do so much shit that is like very risky, but it's usually for a YouTube video, like rollerblading and I'll just fully send it. Yep. And if I fall over, like it'll hurt, but like I don't care because it's like funny. And then this, the time I've talked about on the podcast before when I was riding my scooter and I completely ate shit in front of my girlfriend's dad, who's a very manly <laughs> man. And then I was just like, man, that would have looked so funny. But like, <laughs> it was just me being like, and he was like, oh, you're right, mate. I was like, yep. But I was really not right. That hurt like a bitch. Yep. Yep. But then that's yeah. that's the biggest person that you can't show it. Can't get Your any girlfriend's sympathy dad, from. No way. Yeah. Like if I was like, oh, I'm really hurt. He would have been like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> like keep going mate <laughs> move on but yeah. yeah i guess moral of the story guys yeah, you probably should just walk away yeah yeah especially definitely. if there's people who are with you who and aren't on the same level and, yeah that's yeah. the biggest part they could have had actual weapons to fuck people you just don't know what someone's yep. gonna do and you know what, like because if i turn around and say to people like hey that's fucked up i don't expect them to walk over to this five foot nothing girl who I happen to be walking with yeah. and fucking one punch them. Yeah. You're like not that's changing any minds in so, that moment. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> so that's the other thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Peter's not going to be like, hey, you shouldn't do that. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so, yeah. And then I shake yeah. your hand. It's, it's just not going to happen. It's not worth it. So and I guess that's the moral of the story. I should have turned the other cheek. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Even though I didn't start anything, yeah. it did lead to that. So turn the cheek. And also just be careful when you're when you're out there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit That's grim that you crazy. have to be. I've never seen anything like that. Has yeah. it turned you off clubbing? Nah. No. Uh, look, honestly. <laughs> Party um, on, brother. <laughs> Party on. It's such a rare thing to happen. Yeah. And like. I've never seen things that. Things don't yeah. affect me like this. I don't know why. Sure. But I, I guess I just am stupid and stubborn or naive. <laughs> but I just assume it won't happen again. Or you if it happens again, one. I won't be hurt again. Yeah. You know there you go. I mean? You've done it. And it's just whatever. Did like, you find that you getting hit in a club made you less likely to go clubbing again? Yeah, 100%. Oh, I also... You, you, you yeah, I just got hit? randomly hit in the when back of the head. Cast. Oh, what the That hell? was pretty bad. Uh, I think I've talked about it in the podcast before. But yeah, you yeah. have. Yeah. But it's kind of like, if that's a one in a hundred chance, you've used up your one, so you've got 99 good clubbing experiences. Yeah, I don't know if statistics... I don't think like I was that. that hot on it anyway, because the weekend before I also got uh, whatever. It was bad. And then that one happened the next weekend, and I was like, I feel like I'm probably just getting a sign from God to yeah. have a relax. <laughs> See, the worst part is, I was actually having a. I never go clubbing. Yeah. Like, and time. so for this to happen to me is so rare because I f f so rarely would go. Yeah. And I was actually having a great time for once. Yeah. And it was like, oh, because normally I'd finish up this party, be like, all right, let's. People would be like, let's go to the after party. I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll go home. Yeah. Mm. I was like, yeah, <laughs> let's go to that after party. That's and then it just all unravels. I'm like, oh, man. The yeah, one's on you for having fun. Yeah, yeah. I guess the one. That's time. the moral of the story. Don't have fun. Forget about the other stuff. No, you said. The, the real the moral is walk away. No, yeah, it's not a fun. Or wave dash Turn back. The <laughs> yeah, roll Should've away. <laughs> they never overshoot in real life, so just dash back. I've been waiting five minutes to wake, make that joke. <laughs> when you said walk away, worst five minutes of your life. Dash back. I had to bring it back full circle. <laughs> to get yeah, that joke about, usually they're too young to. No, I, don't I heard. Um, <laughs> I overheard. <laughs> uh, so because I can understand. <laughs> Other people being more concerned because I was fine. Yeah. But I heard Sophie's mum kind of telling her over the phone, be like, oh, maybe you don't think about going to Northridge. I'm like, no, shut up. Yeah. So, sorry, Sophie's mum, but shut up. <laughs> like, you know, that's not helpful to make someone feel fear. If they want to feel fear, they can feel it themselves. Well, then they kind of win as well. I know exactly. that I just said that I did that, but it's kind of But that was kind of your different. personal <laughs> choice. Yeah, you I kind of was it. done with it anyway. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And it's a bit Every of like a reminder. Jackson yearns it's to just club. not going to increase <laughs> the likelihood. <laughs> see, you, see your background. That's fine. Guys, it's not a real wood wall. I'm sorry to tell oh, you. Oh, oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, the immersion! So, <laughs> shout outs to our audio listeners for not noticing the set fall apart there. <laughs> well, they don't, don't notice the set anyway, do they? So what does it matter? Yeah, yeah. I guess. There you go. But well, yeah, oh, well. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just be safe out there. And, and don't go to Northbridge. Yeah. Shout out to Sophie's mum. <laughs> All right, should we move on? We move on? Sorry, serious time over. Game? Do you, have, do you have a game? No, I said you said you had a game. Yeah, I do have a little bit of a game. Zach said he's got a game. Oh, really game. I got a Bluetooth to the podcast. Oh setup. god! It's Wait, do you know what the so game loud. is? I, I do, do know what the we, game is. Uh, no, not Jordan. <laughs> yeah, no. Zach and I were in the car, and Zach said, "Oh, this could be a game." And I was like, oh, "Yeah." And you were like, "No, please." How, no. how much confidence do you have in the game? I would give it a. I think it on me a two out of ten. You six, sixes out of ten. You have no interest in this game. No, on, on my talent level. At All right, oh. Jackson, you've been checking out some of the new movies that have been coming out recently, right? Not really. 
Yeah, no, you you saw oh, yeah. the, sorry. you saw the trailer for that one movie that's coming out recently, right? What's what's it about again? What the fuck is this setup, Zach? Zach what are you you're doing? supposed to give him the prompt. That's what the, what no, 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 I'm going to do the first one. Okay, oh, okay, give him a prompt. Yeah, what's what's a movie about? The movie that's coming out. Yeah, soon. he didn't communicate. But do I just make it up yeah. with a prompt? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Wow. Zach didn't Bad say Jackson that. Jackson Howard is a movie. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> tell me. What's a movie? Okay, okay. Let's start again. Start again. I feel like it was pretty self-explanatory. Hey, Jackson. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it no, wasn't. it wasn't. No one <laughs> understood, so it wasn't. Right. Yeah. Hey, Jackson. Uh, yeah. Have you seen that new movie coming out? I have, oh, yeah, what's, yeah. It, what's it about again? Oh, it's about that guy that works at the Bean Factory. <laughs> that's, <memory. laughs> that's right. Yeah. This summer, <laughs> the beans are about to get bigger <laughs> and blacker <laughs> one man B -B -B. one factory Big black bean. but he found out when canning beans that this bean went all the way to the top Jack found the bean stalk <laughs> do I have to do anything? no 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 <laughs> of this <laughs> just feel giant, uncomfortable like the rest of us giant corporation <laughs> <Thanks game. laughs> the bean <laughs> this is a shit prompt <laughs> I can hear what the fucking game was! Jack just started playing. Jack right. complained! Join Jack for. <laughs> oh, here we go. Join Jack as he searches for answers in kidney beans, <laughs> red beans, <laughs> black beans. You won't bean leave your eyes when he travels across <laughs> to German beans. <laughs> All the way up the beat <laughs> This movie goes all the way to the top. How long did this go? Why is Jack it so long? And the bean store. <laughs> I'd watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame Jackson for giving you a bad prompt when you tell him nothing about what you want. Uh, so that's my movie trailer. I don't think we're doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys wanted it. Can the no. three of us do a line each instead? No, no, no. We gotta work together. Okay. Otherwise, it's so too confusing. I'll give you a much easier Wait, we prompt. Do a trailer? No, I'm saying we do a trailer, do a trailer together. together. No, it'll be too confusing because you have to think on the fly. Yeah, you yeah. can't prepare your thoughts. I'll give you a much uh, easier. Prompt. I think it'll be much harder. Who, who that was just too to long. Next? I'll go next. All right, Jackson. yeah. Make it half as long. Can you do that? Uh, can I, can I come up with prompts as well? Yeah, go. Um, hey, okay. have you seen that new movie recently? What What was it about again? It was it was the sequel to Edward Scissorhands, except this time he has plastic forks for hands. Okay. And they're really fragile. Wait for it. Is it half as long? This summer. There's like scenic shots and stuff. Yeah, you can describe it. Just goes okay, shots and, and then forks are scraping along and one of the prongs falls off. That's what's <laughs> happening so far. <sighs> Edward's back. And then we see Edward's face and it's like, oh my God, Edward is back. But he's got new hands. <laughs> and then we see his hands and it's... Oh. <laughs> and you see his hands. And oh my God, look at them. And then we see a door opening. It's creaking open. It's creaking open. And he's got a brother. <laughs> Nedwood plastic fork hands. <laughs> Nedwood. <laughs> Nedwood. <laughs> yeah, that okay. Was about That's about the end. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Can I someone think, animate that? Can someone make that? Yeah, <laughs> please. I think we well, need the the scenery is good. <laughs> oh is that actually copyright free? That was a good yeah, song. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait Are for Jordan. Are you picking different ones each time? This I is told a, this you I'm going to be a two out of ten. Right. This is action intense trailer music. So this Should is going to be. Yeah, Jordan, you got to ask us if you've seen that movie. Ask whoever you think. Oh, yeah. You, oh, who, yeah. who do you want the prop from? Ask them. Okay, Zach. Um, what was that movie that I can't remember? Oh, it's the new Marvel. <laughs> it's the new Marvel movie about that new superhero. Put him on the spot. Brilliant. <laughs> Batman, we need help, Batman. <laughs> Is Batman Marvel? No. no. And he's also not new. So, who's Marvel? Spider-Man? Just make one up. Okay. No, 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 no. Do not animate this trailer. No, 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 no. Okay, hold okay, on. Okay, you ready? Go. Okay. Spider-Man, help me please, Spider-Man. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Useless man. man. No, who can? It's Blimby Man. <laughs> <laughs> who's Blimby Man, Spider-Man? 
It's an old friend. Blimme! Is that it? That's what does Blimby did. Man do? It's a teaser trailer. Teaser, you don't get much info. You just know it's Blimby he Man. He just yells Blimby. Who's Blimby Man? It's an old friend. <laughs> Blimby! <laughs> Please animate that. I take oh, it all back. What the fuck does Blimby Man do? I don't know. <laughs> Zay, I take it back. This has been amazing. <laughs> this is good. This is the worst bit, but also the best bit. You got to leave it pretty open, in <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Hey, you hey, Jordan. Oh yes. Yeah. Hey. You've seen that uh, trailer for the movie just came out, right? Oh yeah. Wasn't about again that elephant that lost its tusks in the crocodiles. In the croc. Okay. <laughs> yep. Well, you asked Jordan, so. <laughs> this summer. Wait. What? What's this music? Is it just tense again? Yep. Okay. It's very intense for an elephant. Most other elephants have a way of defending themselves, <laughs> but not Stimpy. <laughs> That's a crocodile. That's a crocodile. After the extreme tusking accident of 1965, Stimpy has been fighting for his life out in the plains, but nothing has prepared him for this moment. Hi, I'm looking for a really sexy elephant with big oh, tusks. The... <laughs> I don't have any tusks, bitch. But I'm going to show you the best time of your life either way. No crocodile can stop me. That's why they call me Stimpy the Human Fucker. <laughs> what <laughs> happened? <laughs> what happened there? It's a bit of a romance movie. Who are the actually. characters? Is it a romance? There's, there's Stimpy and Fifty then there's Shades of Fan. And the Gloria. The, this the is the best segment woman. we've ever done. It just about might what be. What are you talking about? I can't believe this has happened by accident. <laughs> accident? No, I crafted this. I'm you crafted it on the fly. Credit. You gave us no direction. I'm taking credit. <laughs> Can I do? Can I do one more? Yeah. I did not love sure. the Bean Factory. That's kind of on you. <laughs> yes. All right, um, Peter. I've been looking forward to seeing that new movie. Mm-hmm. What's it about? An Almost action movie. Yeah, I, I did see an action movie recently. Yeah. Actually, what, what <laughs> I saw the trailer for it. It was really awesome. It was about uh, Spaceman. Oh yeah. And he's kind of like Aquaman, except he does things in outer space. Oh yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, here we go. This one was really good, actually. This summer. Oh, right. Yeah. She said she broke up with him because <laughs> she needed more. <laughs> Space! Oh, that's good. Oh, sorry. She's fooling them all. She's called Spaceman. She dresses like a man <laughs> to sneak onto ships where they're very toxic masculinity based. <laughs> Hello, can I come in? I'm actually a man. Let me in, I'll scan my fingerprint and get onto your spaceships. Ha-ha! I'm actually Space Man! <laughs> what the what? And I'm here to steal all of your snacks! <laughs> thank God you did another one. That was <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, thank God for redemption. That was amazing. <laughs> Spaceman. Woman. No, space man. Woman. The what is silent. Oh, yeah. The what? Man. Way to bring strong female actors into it with space, man. The what is silent. Yeah, the what is silent. Yeah, sorry. What's that? Is it the be- the subs with B, the something test? Beep test? No, the one about, like, if your movie has good female characters or your show. Oh, what is that called? It starts with B, I think. It does start I with do B. It's like you that. need to have two female characters talking to each other and it can't be about a man. They, yeah, oh. that's exactly right. If that and happens, then your movie is My movie female. failed because the, the woman was only there to get fucked by the elephant. That's true. Female movie. Mine, she was just there to get saved. Yeah, that's so all yours. Part. Yeah, where are all Oof, it starts with a B. It's the Bechdel test. Bechdel test. Bechdel. I was going to say Bechamel, but I think that's a completely different thing. Just kidding. Brimby was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Find a better, a better variety of trailer music, guys, if you want to do this segment again. That was very yeah, fun. Can we do like a comedy one and a, like a love yeah. story one ding, next ding, week? Those were all ding, very ding, intense. Ding, ding, ding. So it's yeah. like, oh, the tuskless elephant. And then you had to turn it into a sort of dark story. <laughs> in way. I've, got a, I've got a great uh, This Summer voice. I got, I, I'm going to gas myself. No, so you, you do. Jackson is good as well. Oh, I, I fluked that. I do not think I'm good at that normally. If anyone wants to animate any of those trailers, we would Link love that. We can't really Twitter. give you anything. Maybe, maybe not mine. Mine was a bit graphic. 
Oh, you've not PD. Yours just, just blurred. Oh, they're only going to animate PD. <laughs> see, trailers is much easier to improv than freestyle raps because you can leave big gaps and just be like suspense. Let yeah, I feel like do a <laughs> while I could like describe what was on the screen, it made it a lot easier for me. Yeah, yeah. you did that well. And then you could just say stuff. Oh, that was great, Zach. Well done. <laughs> Except for the bean fact. The bean fact. You're on. <laughs> it's because you let yours fault. go for so yeah. long. So oh yeah, yours also did go for like a minute. I the started first time. finding one minute long trailer musics, and uh, I think those are the perfect length. Is that yeah, one like minute? Blimby. Those last two, me and Peter's, yeah. Oh shit. Others I just cut off. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's smart. Wow. Tell us which movie you'd be most likely to see. Oh, not. Well. I think I'm seeing the. <laughs> I think I'm seeing Fork Hands. I think I'm seeing Blimby. Blimby. I think I'm watching Blimby. Blimby. Blimby sounds so funny. <laughs> mystery's got me intrigued. He's what an Blimby old friend. Even do. Like I really want to know what Blimby's powers are. Blimby. Usually you'd find that out in the trailer, but not this. Not, not, not this one. It's a very a good trailer. Band. Got I me very picture intrigued. Of like a cut to black Blimby, and then a huge logo with like yeah. a, the music coming back in. <laughs> Blimby. Like a Blimby huge man. 3D animated Blimby logo appears on the screen. What Unreal. is a blimb? Blimp. I think you have a blimp. Did I make that up? A blimp. Is you think you have a word? blimp? No, I, no, that's a different thing. It sounds like a bilby almost. What, like a blimp? Yeah, I think I was thinking of bilby. No, there's no such thing as a blimp. A blimp. Well, yeah, so I made it up. New word. Bimby <laughs> and Roy is New a word Melbourne just label. Dropped blimby. Yeah, look, New it's going to be a no from me. Why oh, blimby, sorry, hang on. Why don't they fill in all the words? Like, Why don't they just make all words into words? Yeah. Yeah, good question, Jordan. Like, why is. Um, to, um, why is. Oh, yeah, hard, go on. That's not a word, but flib. Flib isn't a word. Okay. It could be. Do we is need? This, we don't is need is more. This an words. early Jordan question of the week. Um, yeah, that's a bit a of a teaser. Um, Blimby does exist as well. What's a Blimby? Blimby is a game on Steam, and it's a book. Blimby, who got that ABC? Oh no, it's an Adventure Time wiki thing. So no, not quite. I've got a real answer for Jordan's. So question. not really. Wow. Blimby on Steam. Blimby. Yep. Um, because English. I mean, specifically talking about English here. It's already a hard enough language to learn that's got a fuckload of words that mean the same thing and don't really need to exist. So do we really need to add more? You don't know anywhere near like No, but 10% as they were coming up words. with words, why would they call it something that isn't? That's a, that's a good point. Okay, instead of having... Why don't they <laughs> make, use all the four-letter words first? Is that, oh, instead, instead of having of like, homophones, yeah. we'll just invent a new word. So like instead of saying like, you know, there, there, and there, yep. we have there, blimby, and flib. Yep. <laughs> what just happened? What are you... All oh, right. And it's like, oh, that's my friend over flib. Yeah. yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, which there were they saying?" No, they don't fucking say that anymore. It's they know it's true. Flim. He's onto it this Flim. time. Uh, oh. What is your question of the week? Is that it? Um, no, my question of the week. Oh wait, sorry. What's my question? question? One question, question of, of the week. week. But boom. boom. Okay. Yeah, sure. right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what show is that from? Well, I did not find out. Oh, oh man. Okay, I have a theory. Is what this is. Mm, I love your theories. Theory, theory of the week. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going to add things each time. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So stereotypically, yeah. on average by society. Oh, here comes the hot take. <laughs> Block your ears, kids. I would kids. say that gaming slash nerdy apparel is frowned upon. What? Sure. Okay. In comparison to maybe... Surfing. A band t shirt. Com- compare a band t shirt with a video game t shirt. Yeah, okay, yep. Surfing, sports, apparel. Yep. I would say it all yep. gets a higher respect. Yeah. Unless it's Little Z merch. Unless, yes. Unless it's Little Z merch. I'm saying, is the only reason for that because gaming doesn't make you buff? But listening to bands doesn't yeah. make you buff, and that is not frowned upon. Oh, but they're kind of seen as cool because they're like, okay, take bands out of it, but like, no, we but can't. What about Christmas shirts? Not cool. Not I cool. frown upon those. They yeah. don't make you. What shirts make you buff? I'd That's love to. Saying, I'd like, love to wear, wear one. No, I'm saying people who wear like sporting clothes. People Most who people that are into sports clothes. are not athletic. <clears throat> no, but I'm saying the clothes are seen as cool because athletes wear them. I think they're seen as cool because they're more socially acceptable ways of spending your time. Yeah. Not because they make you buff. And mm. maybe those things are more socially acceptable because they're seen as having this positive physical impact. Yeah. yeah. So that could be part of it. But you did say, is that the only reason in which I would say but no? I would a say lot of, yes. A lot of people play video games in their spare time that would never wear a game. That's what shirt. I'm saying. But if anyone, if people who don't even, like this is probably a surfy kind of need, shirt. You need to be too into games to get the gaming shirt, I think. But that's what I'm saying because it's frowned upon. Yeah, but like, yeah, we wear surf clothes and we don't Because it's not surf. frowned upon. Yeah. So like, like it's, it's expanded outside of its audience where gaming hasn't even hit its entire audience. Because uh, yeah. it's seen as lame. But I think that's purely because of gaming doesn't make you more attractive the more you do it. 
But neither does listening to bands though. Okay, would you argue? Like he has, a, he has another one for you. Jordan. It's not how arguing works. Yeah, <laughs> Here's one for you. Would you say that in general the execution of gaming clothes is much worse than these other things because they're more developed? So, like for example, like a surf shirt looks cool on average is going to look cooler because mm. they've put more like experience and effort into it than a gaming shirt just because like gaming is a new space. I think it's all about advertising with hot people. I think gamers yeah. aren't hot on average. I reckon even a surf oh, shop. Speak for yourself. I reckon in a surf shop, on average, so. if <laughs> all of the pictures were just some crusty looking people, it wouldn't be as popular. <laughs> yeah. for, every, for every three hot gamers, there's got to be a joy. I, mean, I reckon clothing one. is a scam and they're just rotating and putting clothes on different hot people and saying, this is cool now. Yeah, yes, no shit. That's correct. correct. Figured yeah. it out. So they just need to put nerdy clothes on the hot people. Yeah, but no one does that. That's what I'm saying. Because there's That's not a, as big of a market. No, it's a big... More people game than surf. I mean, I think you could argue that, like, you could say YouTuber merch is generally a little bit tacky. You could say that. That's an argument you could make. <laughs> I'm not necessarily making that <laughs> point. As little Z merch, which well, is very yeah. cool. Yeah, very cool. But there are some people who take it to the next level yeah. of past school. Like, for example, like I'm not trying to say that I have, like, amazing fashion taste, but this shirt I'm wearing is, like, uh, from a YouTuber's brand. It's cool. Yeah, would but, you say, Jordan? Yeah. That's cool. But yeah. because it looks more on the level it of ex like expertise of a regular shirt, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Mm. Whereas like that surf shop, I'm not going to be like, that's devilish. It's just a cool shirt for mm. your example. And What's your shirt? I think Jim? that like... Says tropical, tropical vibes. vibes. It's the same one I've got. Oh, you love that shirt, eh? Yeah, I do. It's got some big and stuff on the back. Someone who does it really well is definitely cold ones. Oh, yeah, You guys yeah, have yeah. seen cold ones as You were merch. showing us. They're yeah, just... Okay cool outside of it being merch. Yep. And I think that because like they've really stepped it up where people are still in the infancy of a lot of merch. Well, I think the only thing it would take is if athletic sporting people just started wearing gaming merch. Yeah, right, but they, launch, suddenly they won't. Popular. Let's they launch won't. a brand and just hire the whole You should do that, it. Jordan. You've uh, a just completely untapped market. No, you create your own gaming merch, find hot people to wear it for you. Me, Peter and Zach are available. Yeah, we're okay. here right cool, now. Cool, cool. Like Nike, but it's electric. What's that? <laughs> That's a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. Know. It's a copyright Nintendo. I don't know if you should head. be in charge of our gaming uh, <laughs> <laughs> fashion. I don't know. One time, shouldn't be a thing if no one knows it. No, I agree that it's really frowned upon. Though one time I saw mm. someone at the airport and I was frowning upon him, but he had like he had Pokemon shoes, Pokemon trackies, a Pokemon shirt, and a Pokemon cap and a Pokemon bag. And, and so I was like, you should have probably respect. stopped after two. But you would frown Big upon respect. him more than someone who wore basketball shoes with a basketball hat. With If, basketball. if it was everything yeah. basketball, then I probably wouldn't notice. You're right. But yeah. I probably still wouldn't be like, that's so cool. You have everything basketball. You could I'd definitely like, have like a Nike everything fit and you can get away with it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. I think the clothes just look better. I don't think it's yeah. the hot that's, people. That's what I'm saying. They're not as developed yet. Yeah. I, I think it's a fib. Because I, I, there's some really cool looking okay, gaming brains shirts just think that, that are like... Because hot people wear them. <laughs> there's shirts that aren't too obviously gaming. I think just putting like clip art gaming stuff on a shirt is what looks bad. But if you have like a subtle gaming reference on a shirt, you can have some really cool designs. Yeah, I do not think I've ever seen... Uh, maybe it's because I've not seen the hot people in mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever really seen... Except for Lil Z merch. Gaming merch that is cool looking. I, oh, no, I, I, definitely was, have. I was saying I I've have. seen a lot. Oh wow, you guys have but it's like <laughs> checked it out. Why well, did, did you buy it? Doing, they've started Peter's doing. got some good oh, Pokemon so cool about this? shirts. Jumper. What does it say? New balance. <laughs> what, what, what do you think what? about my that's one? Cool. It's it's like a <laughs> very <laughs> dark grey t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, and the print on it is just eight badges from like the like they're kind of like the I Kanto don't mind badges. that. I don't. But yeah. I wouldn't call it cool. Yeah, but people who see it think it's like who know what it is seem to usually enjoy it. All I'm saying is this shirt, yeah. NB, New Balance. Yeah. I would say if you just replace that with it saying Pokemon, the Pokemon is frowned upon way more. Yeah, he's got a, he's got That's a point. That's definitely true. Even like though it's not Smash looking ball. different. No matter how hot Jackson is wearing it, he exactly. can't help it though. <laughs> yeah, I can't do much about that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. So I feel like we might be, this might be a bad hey, conversation. What the hell just came out of my mouth? <laughs> 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 a lot of our fans come from like the gaming space. So oh, look, when I went to this gaming club thing, yeah. There were some fucking atrocious shirts. Yeah. I do have to say, like, because there's... The, it's a hard one because you're like, I can no, wear wait, my gaming were shirt. Were any of them hot wearing it? No. He's thinking. I'm uh, trying to think. Point, point proof. I mean, I thought that, like, Sophie wearing this gaming outfit was pretty fucking hot. Good answer. But it looked <sighs> shit because it was gaming outfit. No. Oh, well then. And exactly. then, like, our friend who we saw... Exactly. Who I haven't seen Wait in a while. minute. She exactly. was Cat Peach. Exactly. And Pete is a fucking furry. Hmm? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what's going on. Anymore. Yeah, I think this, we've got out. a bit derailed okay, here. So I think fine, my final statement is you need to tread the line of people that know it's gaming get the reference, like the badges, and yep. they're like, that's cool. People who don't know are like, oh, that could be a cool design. It's just a shirt. I don't know yeah. that it's from gaming. Yeah, yeah, I think that's definitely right. I that's guess my point was ground. more that most of it is over the top. Yes, I agree. Oh, like what they sell in the EV yeah, games, wear bargain whole... bins. Yeah, that's... Well, you Chicago didn't like the Make a Splash shirt. The Make a Splash <laughs> one. I can't say yeah. I have worn that. Okay, Jackson, I, now, now that I know you think all game merch is bad. No, I didn't say that. You did. Did you do you like my one that's the We Are Friends Forever? It's got a Psyduck and a Slowpoke on it. Yeah, I, I wear it in videos all the time. I think yeah. that's cool, but I understand why a lot of people don't. No, but I mean, but it's just like if you didn't know they were Pokemon champions. and you just thought it was two animals on it, yeah. is it kind of cool? Maybe. And like the fact I don't really that know the Pokemon's shirt. kind of lowered it down. A few yeah, I'm not. I for you. don't. If I did say that all gaming merch is lame, I take that back. I did not mean that. I think you said that, and I that's think you're on the books the fact forever. That is a gaming thing makes it less cool, even if the design was cool. Uh, it can. Yeah. I, I do think that's true. You're part of the problem. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You're out here stigmatizing gamers. No more hot wow. people. Where did we send Hubble telescope? In space. Or out? We, in in. we sent it to the center of the Earth. John. What do you mean in or out? Into the universe or out of the universe? What? <laughs> <laughs> How do you go out of the universe? Because it's expanding. So, yeah, no. Oh, you're saying we're sending it further. Up. Oh, back to Big Bang. <sighs> this is Jordan's second, Holy Jordan's second question, question of the week. week. <laughs> <laughs> Does know? Right. It's, just a yes or no. it's not a yes or no. <laughs> Jordan, I think you've got the entire scope of the question it's wrong. It's in or out. It's a He's got out. the telescope. What's the, no, what's the thing we sent really far? Not Hubble, something else. You can't send anything out of the universe. It's not possible. No, no, but towards that way. That's everything is in <laughs> that direction. No, because there was a bang and then everything's expanding from it. Yeah. Yeah, we got to be on one side. So you got to be on one side of the middle of the bang. Okay, John, think of it this way. I blow up a balloon. Yeah. Yep. Mm. I put a dot on. I, I, I get a, uh, sorry, I get an unblown up balloon. I get a texter and I put a dot on it. Yep. Following? I blow up the balloon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, John Collins, you're on board. And the balloon's blowing up. And yep. yeah, there's a dot on it. It's, yep. I'm blowing the balloon up. Yeah. Does this dot get further away from the center or closer? From whose center? The center of the balloon. Further. Yep. Does that matter where I put the dot on the balloon? Could I put the dot anywhere and it's still be going out? Yeah. Yeah. Could it be so going in? It's not in? possible for it to go in. No. If the universe is expanding, everything is going out. That's what I mean. So if we're shooting something, it could be going. If it's going, the, the spaceship back in. is the dot. It can't go in. No, but you could go in the balloon. This is a terrible question that Jordan's never going to understand. Yeah, look, I yeah. say we skip this we'll one. Save, okay, let's Someone in the comments help we'll me out. We'll go for a hard skip on this I'm question. I'm really trying George. to help you out here, I'm Jordan. I'm just saying if they shoot it into the Big Bang, we're never going to find that. You alien. can't. They must That's have back shot in it time, out. Jordan. No, that has to be Okay, this... All right, Jordan. What do you mean? No, don't, don't worry. ask we him that. No, I'd love to just know more. We've had enough, Jordan. I haven't. Here's what I think. Yeah, no, let's... Everyone just let him say this uninterrupted and he'll stop. Okay. So there's nothing at the moment. Boom. Big bang. Big boom. Explosion goes from a center point. Everything's expanding out from this center explosion. Is that how it worked? Do I just keep talking? All explodes, asteroids, everything's flying away from this center point. Um, Earth gets created somewhere as it's flying out. Um, but... Aliens would be further along. <laughs> That's all. So if we're going to send out a telescope, don't put it back in a Big Bang because there'll be tribes. Yep. Yeah, yeah I uh, agree. Moving on. I think NASA said that no, last yeah, week, yeah. actually. <laughs> We've never let Jordan speak for that long. <laughs> <laughs> Uninterrupted. Can someone in the comments help me out? I reckon someone in the comments will understand my issue I and help like me. I Peter explained it very, very well. Nah, it's like I that one in the question. office where he says, sometimes I start a sentence and I don't know where it's going. <laughs> I just find it. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll, Can we move on? Yeah, I'll oh, say no. one final thing to help you understand the balloon analogy. Yep. Now, Jordan, listen. But I don't understand. Isn't a big bang from a bang? So What's the balloon I think that a big bang is the the term explosion is not correct. Oh, isn't it? It's an expansion. Everything was there, but just very condensed down. Yeah. And then it expands out like the balloon. The balloon, when you blow but it up, doesn't get any heavier. If, like a balloon, though, everything's on the How about outside. you let me finish my explanation and then ask okay. questions next How about week? you just don't ask questions? All right. We don't need to talk about so it anymore. So it's all expanding <laughs> from this one point. So you can't go back in time to there. You can't go back there. I think, okay, I actually think I understand what Jordan's saying. Now let me translate. 
Jordan's saying, from where the Big Bang happened, where was that? And are we moving, shooting things? He thinks Big Bang Theory is at point one and then at point two is Earth. He's saying, are we sending it left or right? <laughs> okay. Yes, exactly that. See. Right. I don't think it really matters. I think only the future is to the right and back to the left, they're only just Quiet. Yeah. getting started. Yep, that's that's good. Because okay. the animals aren't right, created. This, I can't believe this I point makes a little bit more sense, I see. Is, is that what you're trying to say? That's exactly Was that correct? What I said. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> Can we move on? Yeah. <laughs> Please. Should we talk about Fiapon 1.5? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Isn't it 2.5? No, no, no. it's 1.5. The, 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 the lost died. edition. So Fiapon Fia 2 has Came out. come right. out this week. If you haven't checked it out, that's yeah, on the I Real Life channel. Some very intelligent viewers would have noticed a day a few months ago we were posting a lot of unhinged things that appeared to be from Fear Bong 2. Oh, what did we post? We posted um, you with lipstick all down your arm saying you're going fist deep in your girl or some <laughs> shit. And we posted that on Twitter. <laughs> That's and then right. there was never oh. a video that came out that gave you the payout for oh. what the fuck that was about. <laughs> well, that was just what I do in my spare time. Yeah, yeah. That's what the people might be led to believe. Yeah. But Wait, I think, is that where my Christ. tweet was from as yeah, well? Yeah, that was Jackson's tweet saying he was oh, going to start yeah. uploading Smash Bros videos. Mm. I wonder no one knew it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I think and people we never did. never explained that these were a joke because... Uh, some fucking idiot. I think it was Jordan because his microphone's down. Lost the recording and we couldn't use it hey. at all. Nice. Not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so in case you guys, like when we record, we have camera angles and voices and they're all kind of recording different things. Yeah. And unfortunately, one of those got lo lost, which meant that the whole video couldn't be used. Yeah, it was kind of unsavable, really. We had we had a second camera angle, but it just so happened that the main camera angle was Sophie standing in front of the second camera angle <laughs> for most of the video. And then, like, we would go outside, and Jordan did this thing where he had to do push-ups while getting egged, and I think that was oh, very that painful. <sighs> no, that was yeah, that'll never be seen. But it was very funny, viewers. <laughs> just imagine Jordan doing push-ups and getting egged. It's what exactly as funny as what it sounds. What else did we even do in this? I feel like we did some fucked shit. They Jackson really had mayonnaise in his hair. Oh, uh, yeah. All for nothing. It's so depressing, isn't it? Yeah, That's it's a, one of the it's worst videos one. to lose. The worst. Other than maybe the Sydney, uh, yeah. if we lost Amazing that video, race, yeah, that, that would have been, been bad. But that's well, part oh, of the right, reason yeah, why yeah. we were saying in Fear Pong 3, like, don't like the video because we don't want to do this again. Well, yeah. One, so we've people. run out of ideas unless we go back to, like, I just do two again. mayonnaise in the hair again. <sighs> we're not doing uh, that, and man. also, yeah, it get, it's getting less views than a video that we didn't have to get punished for, so. Yeah. Yeah, so many, so many comments have been like, Fear Pong was my favourite. And it's like, it's, is it our most viewed video on the real life channel? It's up there. It was. The it's, first it's, one, yeah. yeah. No, Jim. Gym, gym videos. Yeah, I, I know it's up Ooh. there. It might not be the number one, but it's up there and people love it. And I'm just like, man, I'm not doing this shit anymore. I don't think it showcases our personalities off as much as it's a just Shark silly. Tank or yeah, a Ted just Talks silly. or one, one of our videos like that or a game show video. Like mm. I think those are more way more our personalities. And I'm sure if you want to see someone putting mayonnaise in their hair, there's about 5 million YouTube videos doing but that. But it is the most viewed it's video the most on our channel. Oh, that's grim. Welcome to YouTube, baby. <laughs> well, until number... Uh, if Fear Pong 2 becomes our second most viewed video, what are you guys Then we'll do it. I think uh, the three of you three? can have a great time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I reckon it might be Jordan a 1v1. Jordan will do a 1v1. A 1v1. <laughs> uh, we'll get the partners in. How about, yeah, you get the girls and I make the fucking sexual punishments this time. Yeah. yeah, and we will get the money from it if it's the second most viewed. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it, dude. <laughs> no worries. I'd love you to be successful. That doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, <laughs> Other people's success oh, thanks, is my guys. happiness. Oh, I love that. Except for you. Okay. Oh. Except when they steal my content. <laughs> what the fuck's that about? Guys, no, that's I, not, that's yeah. definitely I'm on TikTok true. at the moment. I just uploaded oh, yeah. a video the other day of someone stealing my TikTok almost word for word. Oh, yeah. I think in my video, I didn't really illustrate how word for word it was because I didn't want to just play what video one then play video two because that's like boring. Yeah. You should have so, played them at the same time next to each other. Yeah. You know how they do like a... Fair, you know, they recreate the old ads from 20 years ago and they do a side mm. by side. You should have literally done that because it was so close. I think it would have worked. Yeah, because there are still a few comments being like, I think they probably just came up with this themselves. And I'm like, bro, no you got to you gotta watch this you shit. You need the, um, st when people st steal stand up comedy jokes and they play yeah. them literally. Yeah. Dude, someone clip. copied one of my videos, actually. My bo most combos, best combos really? for each character. Someone copied that video with like the same intro. With like the same, yeah, it was just the same. It was did the they same. choose other moves or did they do no, the same combos? They did, not, did they a get few more were views? Different, but no, they didn't get more views. Yeah, good <laughs> on, fuck them. That actually got a lot, like the comments on it were really nice. They're like, well, this video is sick. I'm like, God damn it. God damn it. But uh, like the, Jordan's in the comments like, you stole my video. <laughs> I can look at it later, maybe in the Patreon episode. I'm pretty sure it was like pretty much word for yeah. word as well. Which, it's just crazy that that was my first TikTok that blew up. Yep. And then it got stolen and then that one did TikTok. better than mine. 
Oh, did it really? Yeah, yeah. It, I that's I'm I start because that's why I wouldn't normally care if it was a nobody. Yeah, but it was someone who was bigger than me on the platform, it's which crazy. is so scummy of them. Yeah, and then like. Cause mine got mine like it was, I was super lucky. You got eight hundred thousand views. Yeah. This one, as I was editing my video, overtook mine, and that was only ten hours after yep. it came out. Wow. Like it, it proper blew up, and I was just like, man, that is so grim. But they took their video down. Respect. And then they also t- they also uploaded on YouTube, and so they took that one down. And that a hundred k views on YouTube after a day. <sighs> wow. Were they getting bullied for it? Uh, no, nobody, because I'm smaller than them. Nobody knows it was mine. You got to send your dogs off. <laughs> yeah, you got to send the dogs in. <laughs> Spam their comments. And I even said to no. their name when I was, uh, what's it called, talking about it in the video and I didn't That's show their nice name. Just because like, oh, nice to I don't want people do to harass yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like I want to be able to call someone out for their shitty behavior, but then people always take it too far. Yeah. And so if I make the obstacle of making people actually find these things, it's yeah. a little bit less like... Yeah, because that's as far as you want to take dick. it. You want to yeah. call them out and then that's it. You don't yeah. want to... Like, you wouldn't DM them after being like, get your mother freaking... Yeah. I bet people do that. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, like, uh, all I wanted to get out of it is like, I thought it was kind of funny. I wanted it to not be a thing, which yep. is not. Yeah. And then I wanted people to know I have a TikTok, so they follow me on it. Oh. Win, I think win, I've win. achieved those things and now I'm, I'm done with it. Triple win. <laughs> oh, the triple threat. Yeah. There you go. And That's I'm, crazy. I'm done with it. But it is crazy. And, then and like, bring it up on the pod. Make sure everyone's follows Peter yeah, on TikTok. Boy. And, and me while you're at I'm it. I'm blowing up right now. What's your TikTok? At Hopcat Smash. Oh, nice. But That's I'm actually doing stuff about Smash. Pokemon recently. So yeah. she, Are you going to change it? Can you change it? Honestly, Hop top. your username doesn't really matter that much. Hop Caterpie is a good one though. That's your Twitter, right? Yeah. No, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it. Hickcock. No, I'll just leave it. Or you can pretend it's Hopcat Mash. <laughs> and I make a video about making mashed potatoes. Hopcat Hop Mash. Hopcat Mash. Next, next level. Hopcat Mash. That's great. There's, just a, there's an apostrophe here, but it's implied. You just don't know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is well, it? okay, that in my Hopcat Smash. Hop and or smash. your name's Hop and it's Cat Smash. Hopcat Smash. Hopcat uh, Smash. I don't really want to see Cat Smash. It's about smashing cats. All oh, right. It's right. not as good. Should we end the podcast there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have we been going for an hour? It feels like uh, we've yeah. been going for a while, guys. Oh, my story's going to have to wait till next week, guys. No, we no, need the story. story. We've we got to cap it off story. with the story. Maybe we'll do it on the Patreon. No, tell us. I've, I've got to leave it Jackson, like 40 we have minutes. time for a story. We have time for the story. Ooh. I bet he doesn't even have a story. Look at this guy. I've got a story. There's no story, heaven, fool. Right. Isn't this the best story of your life? Oh, it's pretty good. So. Um, I was at the shops. I'm at Woolworths. And Wait, working, working? Not working. No. I'm at, yeah, no. just okay. recreationally Ooh, buying stuff. And I look over um, at the dates and they're out of dates because I've been eating some dates recently. You have to tell this story better. <laughs> What do you mean? No, he's getting there. I'm getting okay, there. It's a, a it's a slow burn. Maybe it's so good it tells itself. How did that make you feel? So I was going like, what? Where are the dates? And I'm thinking like, do I ask, you know, the guy working there? And I'm looking ask at him. someone for a date. <laughs> <laughs> Could I please have a date? So I'm looking at him. I go, all right, I'm going to ask him. I'm just going to say, mate, is there dates out of the back? So I go over to him and I go, hey, don't really know what your name is, but do you have dates out of the back? He said, mate, let me go have a look. He's gone, and I'm talking five minutes. And I'm thinking, do I leave? Do I come You're back? standing around. I'm standing there, and I'm starting to feel like a bit of an idiot. That People are looking at me. to Holly and I for watermelons. Well, it's not your story, so Sorry, just... Sorry, go on. Five <laughs> <laughs> down, mate. So he Put comes back up. with the dates, and I go, You're a legend. Go to the checkout, scan them through. And unbeknownst to me, I've put it through as a red onion. And I've just clicked what the first thing that came up on the scanner. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Tell us another one. So, and I'm walking out and the lady goes, Oi, 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 come back here. So I turn around and I say, What's going on? What's, what's the problem? She goes, You left your phone there. <laughs> oh. And I said, Thanks. So you got away with the great red Got away with heist. it. Yeah, because I didn't realize. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell us very well. Well, that's definitely true. I didn't realize that I'd put it through as onions until I looked at the receipt as I was walking out, realized, and then I was like, oh, well, fuck it. I only paid $2 for like $16 worth of dates. <laughs> Do a runner. And then she yelled out and I got freaked out. Yeah. Really? Like she's going to know what's She's going to know what's going on. Anyway, she didn't know what was going on and I left my phone behind. So what do you think about that story? It, I mean, no. no Wait, you indeed. left your phone. You like ran. You're like, keep the phone. I got the dates. <laughs> you ever heard the phrase, no good deed goes unpunished? Exactly. This poor worker. Yeah. This poor you know, worker. He's, he's got All the poor over. workers. The Wait, guy looking at the dates. No she got, good she got deed fired. goes unpunished. She did. It's, it's kind of like a bit. Uh, it's, it's saying like, if you do good things, you just get fucked over for it. Like oh, nice guys finish last time yeah. energy. Oh, I get it. 
It's like when you do something good for someone and then they just start asking more of you because yeah. yeah, it's like no good deed goes unpunished. Uh, that's um, interesting. So that's a good story and I made it up. All right, end the podcast. No <laughs> way. No way. Yeah, I did. I did not have a story prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Why? That's amazing. What purpose did that serve?